Hello everyone, my name is Allison and uh, welcome to our Pirates, Cowboys and Cowgirls Summer Camp. Uh, in this video we're going to be teaching you how to make this super awesome treasure chest box. Um, and we're going to be using our sponge off technique so that's super awesome. It looks so cool how there's like a dark brown in the little cracks of the wood and then a light brown throughout the rest of the piece. It looks super cool. Um, and so if you want to learn how to make this piece from your treasure chest box that you got in your take home kit. Uh, just keep on watching. Okay, so what you guys are going to need for this treasure chest box here um, is you're going to need obviously your treasure chest that came with your kit. You're going to need a sponge. I just have a few different sizes here for you guys. And then your palette. You can also use a paper plate at home, a piece of tin foil, anything to just put your paints on. Um, and then a couple of big brushes and a little brush here. And then the colors we'll be using today is going to be number 19. It's kind of like a golden color. We're going to be using number 13, which is going to be our light brown. And number 61, which is going to be our dark brown color for our piece. Um, so first off, you don't need um, to do anything special um, before you get started. Um, if you're painting at home, I would lay down, I have a piece of paper laid down here just to catch all the paint and everything, but everything comes off with water, so don't worry about um, where you're painting or anything or the clothes you're wearing. Everything will come off just with water, so don't worry. Um, but to get started, I'm just going to go ahead and grab our light brown color. Number 13, put some in my palette here. Oh, gotta open the little seal inside. Okay, I'm gonna pour some number 13 into my palette. I'm gonna grab a big surface sponge and I'm just gonna paint the entire piece in this light brown color. And don't worry because we'll be going over it and we'll be going on doing a bunch of cool techniques and everything, so don't worry, just paint the entire thing your light brown color. Um, and remember, I don't know if you've painted in the studio before, um, but we were going to be needing to doing usually three layers of paint on everything that we do. Um, usually if we do the one or two layers of paint on everything, you'll see the brush strokes and the streaks of what you do. And we always tell you to do the three coats or three layers of paint. Um, but for this one, we're only going to be needing to do two layers of this light brown color and one or two thick coats of the dark brown color just because what we're doing with our technique is our sponge off technique. And so we don't need to make it a solid color because we'll be going in with our sponge and actually wiping off some of that dark brown um, and painting um, that yellow up on top. Um, so since we're wiping most of it off, that we don't need to do three coats for this technique. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint all the pieces light brown. Um, and then, as you can see, you can tell when your piece is dry when it's not shiny. So you see how this part isn't shiny anymore? But over here, you can see that that's still shiny. Once your piece is no longer shiny in any of the spots, it's ready for its next layer. So I'm going to put two layers of light brown over this whole box. And if I am going too fast for you at any point, you always feel free to pause the video and to um, kind of catch up. And then you can play the video, you can rewind, you can do whatever you need to do. Um, in case I go a little too fast for you. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and paint the two layers of brown over the whole thing. And then I will be right back. Alright, so I painted two layers of paint on my whole box. Except the inside. If you guys want to paint the inside, you definitely can. It's completely up to you on what color you want to paint the inside. I'm not going to paint the inside today. Um, just for some time. Um, but if you want to paint the inside, go for it. But I got the whole outside of my box painted. And so we are going to go in with our dark brown. And we are going to pour some in our palette. Right there. And then we're going to do two 
layers of paint of the dark brown. If you are a really heavy handed painter like me where you put a lot of paint on your piece at once, then you can just do one layer. But if you are not a heavy handed painter and you paint a little bit lighter than me, then I definitely do two layers just to make sure that you got everything and you got a nice good coat on everything. Um, but I'm just going to paint the whole box in the dark brown. I'm not going to paint the bottom just because I want the bottom to be light brown. But I got my nice thick layer on my whole box here. I'm just going to get it all nice and smooth. Perfect. I'm going to go do my top. And this is really cool because, like I talked about earlier, we're going to be actually wiping off most of this dark brown. Um, and so that way the light brown you can kind of see underneath. And I can bring that example over here to show you. But so we're going to be getting our sponges. And they're going to be nice and wet, our sponges are. They're going to be not too wet, kind of like damp. Um, but we're going to take our damp sponge and kind of wipe off all of this dark brown, or most of it. So that way, the dark brown like stays in the creases and the crevices of this box. And the light brown will show through on most of it. So I got my layer there. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to show you how you can see that there's those that dark brown in the creases and everything, but it's light brown all the way through. Um, and so um, we're going to be wiping off a lot of that dark brown. So don't worry about being exact or being too perfect on your box over here that we'll be wiping a lot of it off anyway. So I'm going to let my box dry. Um, you should let yours dry too. Again, your pieces dry when it's no longer shiny and you don't see any shiny parts. You, most of all of mine is shiny. So we're going to let that dry. And then when I come back, we are going to start wiping off our dark brown. It's just going to be super fun. All right, so now that our piece is all nice and dry, um, we are going to start our sponge off technique. Um, so uh, you have your sponge here. Like I said, I just have a couple different sizes, but whatever one you have. Um, and then we're going to be dipping our sponge in the water. I like to squeeze it in the water just to get it all nice and wet. And then you're going to give it a nice good squeeze. So that way it's damp but it's not too wet. And then you're gonna go on your piece and you're gonna very lightly at first until you get the hang of it, wipe at your piece and you can start already seeing the magic there. You're gonna be taking off the top layer of paint to be revealing the light color underneath, which is super cool. You wanna keep wiping and then as your sponge gets dirty, you can put it back in the water and give it a good squeeze and then keep going but we're gonna do this on the entire box but once you guys are done with your pieces you guys are gonna bring them back to our studios and we are going to put your piece in a kiln and so that's what makes the piece all nice and shiny like that is we'll put your piece in our kiln which is like a really big oven and so that way your piece gets all nice and shiny we dip it in a clear glaze first and then we put it in the kiln the kiln gets super hot the kiln gets to about 2000 degrees it's crazy but once your top looks good like this you're gonna move on to your bottom and do the whole thing I'm gonna keep sponging off and keep wiping off my piece here um, and then I'll be right back Alright you guys, so I went and I sponged off all of the box and then I also went in um, with my little sponge and I really wiped off where we want our yellow to go just so that way our yellow can pop out a little bit more and be a little bit brighter versus going over brown. Um, but I wiped off the whole box here and so now we're just going to go in with our yellow and paint three really nice good layers of paint on the uh, the whole box. So I got my yellow out and then I have a little brush here that I'm going to be using. 
and then just on all the like raised parts I'm just gonna paint them yellow and don't worry too much about it being perfect it doesn't have to be perfect to be yours but we're painting in all of the little raised parts of the chest that gold color so that way the chest just looks a little cooler it gives it that extra little flair to it with the like golden yellow but like I talked about we're gonna be doing three layers of yellow on our box here on these little raised parts um, it's very important that you do three layers because if you only do one or two like we talked about earlier you'll see the little brush streaks and strokes of what you do but to get that nice little solid color we're gonna be doing three layers um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put three layers of yellow just on all the little raised edges here on both the lid and the base of the box but I'm gonna go ahead and put those three layers on and I'll be right back and we'll wrap it up alright you guys I just finished putting my third layer of yellow on the whole piece um, so I'm really excited to see how it's gonna look um, but we'll do a little before and after here so you can see what the pieces look like. So this is what it looks like after. This is what it looks like before fire. So that's why it's important to bring your piece back so we can get it all nice and shiny for you. And you can use it to put whatever you want inside of it. But that's all I got for you today. That's how you do the treasure chest box like i said if you wanted to paint the inside a different color you're more than welcome to paint the inside um, i just decided i didn't want to today uh, but make sure to check out our other videos for the pirates cowboys and cowgirls summer camp um, they're going to be in the same playlist as this one but we're going to be doing our craft and our canvas and our clay and a bunch of other stuff fun stuff so uh, be sure to check out our other videos for this camp uh, but you guys have a great rest of your day and i'm super excited to see your treasure chest boxes